Yes, Rue Geeks. Mo Rue Geeks. Back again for yeah. some nice little good old slandering of a good old religion. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the most highly and decorated gospel singers here in, uh, in Houston, Mr. James Fortune. Mm. Mm. Turned himself in into the Fort Bend County Jail just after 6 p.m. on Monday. Mm. He accepted his plea deal in early March for a third degree felony charge of assaulting his wife. Damn. He was sentenced to five years of probation plus five days in jail. Woo. Yeah, only somebody with that high of a name would get some bull crap <laughs> sentencing like that. Five, five years, years probation, probation and five days in jail. Only five days. For a third degree felony charge of assaulting his wife. Third degree, that's like what? Punched her in the face. Like, yeah. that's not a small yeah, thing. That's, 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 called, that's called serious ass whooping. That's, <laughs> that's from Chris Brown. Yeah. <laughs> like, bruh, did, did you have his did you have his tape playing when you, when, when that happened? Did the thoughts just rush into you like that? He must also serve 175 hours of community service and complete a batter's mm. intervention program and stay away from his wife. You see, that's bad. That that's that's the third degree right there. That means he knocked the crap out of it. Investigators <laughs> say Fortune struck his wife with a wooden vanity stool. Mm. Mm. Mm mm mm. Woo! That boy picked up a stool and slapped the fuck out of it, just bow. Now I'm trying to figure out what was the argument about that made he, you that mad. Then he threw her against a wall. Jesus. One night inside their Stafford home. On October in 2014. Should we blame it on the alcohol? In court, a prosecutor read a victim impact statement from Fortune's wife in which she wrote, I hope in all in all of this you get help. Serious help. Although this probation might be like a slap on the wrist, I hope you look at it as a moment to better yourself and change something within you for your future. It's the second time Fortune has pleaded guilty after hurting a family Ooh, no. after hurting a family member. In 2002, he took a plea deal for six years of probation after burning his four-year-old son in hot water. Yes, the gospel singer James Fortune we're talking about. Yeah, that's a pretty bad fortune. Uh, the investigator said Fortune said it was a form of discipline. No, 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 man. Oh, switch, no, put him in jail. No. The boy was burned over 40% of his body. So... Everybody oh, that like to go out there sing the old James Fortune gospel songs, not knowing or oh. just overlooking, this man is goddamn crazy. Crazy as shit. Crazy oh. as cat shit. I'm just saying. No, um, no, no. This man, no. James Fortune, Lower in than the toilet. two, took his own four year old child and to discipline his four year old child. He stuck his ass in hot water and burned over forty percent of his four-year-old son's. You literally roasted him. Body. Mm. Mm. Then we we fast forward to 2013, and he takes a stool and slaps the fuck out of his wife with it. Mm. All in the name of James Horton, baby. In the name mm. of Jesus. Mm. Talk to you, baby. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Like I was telling my brother, there ain't no scripture. It's gonna back this up, okay? There, there ain't nothing about the Lord in you. I'm sorry, bro. Hey, Amen. You, what you singing about, you don't believe in. Hey, Amen. All right, I, I, he, he's, he's coming down with the wrath of God. No, no. <laughs> As Samuel Jackson once right. said in Pulp Fiction, <laughs> I lay my hands, my hands down upon you, says the Lord. Man, when I strike <laughs> down with great vengeance. <laughs> And you will know that my name is the Lord. Mm. My name is Fortune. It's fortune. It's fortune. <laughs> I am fortunate to slap the hell out of you. That boy James Fortune. Ooh, he laid five fingers to the face. Slap. Mm. Cold blooded. With a stool though. Like what? Why are you so mm. mad? Like, dude, you got anger problems, man. Yeah, that's what it is. He, Jesus. he actually has he has to have anger anger issues. Yeah, anger problems. And anger I don't know if man. it's just pure anger or it's alcohol causing the anger. Like it to me, it sounds like something's inducing your anger. Like it could be alcohol induced or it could be drug related. 
Because I don't know what form of mindset you have to be in to dunk your four-year-old child into hot water, burning over 40% of his body. So you know that water has to be real hot. What kind of education could you possibly be trying to teach your child? You could be really ruining his life. You could have burned his penis, man. Mm. Like, how's he gonna live, you know, when he gets into the teen years and what have you? Like, well, you know, he probably wants to, he probably won't stay because he don't want to be no, no granddad. <sighs> I don't. <laughs> but, like, your child will be messed up, man. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry to say, your child's gonna be messed up. But yeah, yeah. Mm, James God. Fortune, man. Damn. Yeah, man, that's 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 some bad stuff right there. Bro. How you even still married after doing that to your child? How did you pull off after doing that to your four year old son, and, and you got six, six year years probation. probation, and then turn around and get five years probation for the second assault offense felony? The second one. You get another five years of probation. Did you annoy And then you only get five days jail for slapping your wife with a, a, a vanity wooden stool and throwing her against the wall? Mm. I, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not an expert here, but I'm just saying. Uh, I know what I say. That uh, he, he, he has to have some Johnny Cochran from the dead type lawyers. Must like, be related. Like, I'm talking about your lawyer is probably. A oh god. Like that's probably your actual fortune is your lawyer. He, he probably yeah. has a lawyer from Ace Attorney. Man. That's Sante. That's an anime, by the way. But, uh, awesome one. Anyway. Check it out. Uh yeah. That's uh, insane. That's this this I can't say anything like, else because I'm I'm so flabbergasted and he's, and, that and he's, he's able he's, to uh, just get probation. And then the top of it all, I don't mean to turn this to a race thing, but he's black, right? Yeah. Now it's not a race issue. But I'm thinking it's a money issue. A black man slapping the hell out of his wife, yeah. burning his son. You know what? She's black. Maybe that's what's going on. Because it says she was white? No. No. He can't get it. I'm, what's going on? I'm willing to put my soul contract on that. That if he had a white wife and they had a biracial son, he wouldn't have got no probation. Not the first time. And if he did get probation the first time, he definitely would have got jail time for the second time. I don't see it, because even T.I., with all his money, got jail time. For some, for less lethal things, as in just but, buying guns. But he but he's, he's a rapper. And yeah. he's a rapper. Government are against rappers. Government are against, that is true. Government is against all rappers. Yeah, they're against all rappers. So. You're a Christian singer. Maybe it's because he's, they believe in yeah, you as a really, Christian yeah. singer. Yeah, yeah, Maybe a, that's why they're a sliding on you. gospel singer. James Fortune is up. James Fortune is up there in like Kurt Franklin range. He's like that's that's like if Kurt Franklin was in you know, this situation, he would have got the same shit. I think Kurt Franklin is winning right now because everybody wants to th throw him in a dumpster because he had a porn or porn addiction. And that's something that's normal. That's normal. At least he's not slapping his wife yeah. and damn near killing his kids. Yeah. And still has the audacity to get up on stage and sing about the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's what's really kind of like jarring me and frustrating me about this. That bastard is probably gonna be on tours and stuff. Singing about Jesus, trying to inspire you, be all up in your life, wanna be playing on your radio, want your kids to be playing on him. Want you to buy his album. Want you to buy his album. And look what he's doing in his own home. Mm. Is. There is no God in his home. He is single handedly destroying that thing. When he comes home, his wife or kid like throws up or something. Like the like the Jackets used to do when their daddy walked through the door. Mm. A fright. A fright. Yes, they threw up because they were so scared. Total fear mm. just grips the whole house. Dog. Like, Darkness, everybody. <laughs> Darkness. Like Big Pun when he came home so he can beat his wife. <laughs> Look, man, it, that, this is crazy. It's, it, it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm looking Man. at I'm looking at this dude. He's smiling, but it, it, it's, it's the sadistic way that he's just he's it, smiling because he's smiling like he know he I got was, off. I got, I'm getting five days, baby. Be and right I'm, back, and I'm gonna beat that ass. You oh, better hope damn. you better hope they keep me away from you. <laughs> <laughs> they say that I gotta stay away, but they, they can't follow. If they ain't following me day and night, don't mean that I can't get you. He come through the window don't to mean beat that ass. Don't mean I can't get you. Don't let me find out where you at. Still in the same house, huh? Mm -hmm. You should be watching that that movie Erased, that, that, that movie, that, that anime Erased, where that mama spent half a series beating her child. Mm -hmm. 
Something like that is what's going on in this man's life right now. So I, you guys pray for the family. Because even if he, he coming out in five days, pray for the family. <laughs> All right. I don't know what they're going to do, how they're going to keep him away. They, yeah. they, they need some protection right now. Buy a gun, bitch. I will just go ahead and change my identity. <laughs> move to another state, start all over. You know what I'm saying? Take my son, change my identity, his identity, mm -hmm. change our names, and let's just go and just start start a whole new life. And they said you gotta do something like that. Protection agency. That's what she needs to go. She needs witness protection, man. Yeah, you have to go. Witness protection, man, because that 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 dude sounds he like still ain't safe. Gone. He still ain't safe for you. No. He's and in a great city. There's no he telling how many people is on his side to, from his from his work. And he got money, so he can pay somebody to come find you. Yeah, so I would say, yeah, just hey, get out. Get out. Now. And hey, you know, hey. we are now running on podcast mode because the camera done died on us. Yeah. Uh, well, it didn't die. We just reached the 10-minute 10, 10 time limit. So y'all just, you guys just seen a message right now. You can't see what I'm doing. Mm. But hey, uh, you guys. Please like. Please like. Share. Subscribe. Comment down below. Hey, man. Let us know. Is there How you feel about the gospel singer James Fortune and knowing the wrongdoings that he's done? What are your opinions about the whole situation? Please let us know. I mean, that this, this is just like someone who's literally just, he went from being a good guy to now just taking advantage of religion to get money while he's doing evil deeds in his home. Mm. It's a damn shame. And he's not the first one. No, he's not. He's just more public. There you go. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah. <laughs> He was, oh, man. he was just trying to get his dicks up. <laughs> just trying to get his dicks up. Just trying to smoke a little weed. Man, I tell you. That's it. He was calm, cool, collected. He was, <laughs> that's, that's, we were just trying to get Bill back in there. And <laughs> Hillary's the wife. So, hey, if we put Hillary back in there. Maybe Bill will come back maybe, in. Bill is in there, too. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, man. 